Hello YouTube. This is a very unprofessional demonstration video of the Vizio M-Series AIO soundbar. And here we have the box. It is an open box version that I got from Best Buy. And it came with everything. Right now it's, everything's unpackaged. Comes with the uh, optical cable an aux cable, your AV cables, this is if you're going to wall mount it, uh, here was the HDMI arc cable, and <clears throat> your standard quick setup, another guide, and right here, well, excuse me for my room, is the soundbar and how it looks. Over here we have the power, input, Bluetooth, volume. Please excuse my setup. It is very unprofessional. The one thing I forgot to add, it also comes with this remote that has an LCD display on it where you can control everything, include the volume, your equalizer, your uh, bass and treble setup, so sorry, if you click level, bass, and then on the sound bar, it, uh, those lights is your bass level, so right now, I know it's hard to see, but I'm lowering the volume of the bass and you can see the LED light moving with it. And this part is going to be the sound test and what it sounds like. Currently in a small bedroom. That is the sound bar LED light. And right now I'm going to raise the volume. And that's the volume. Light also telling you the level of it. to show on the controller is the effects you can turn virtual DTS X I believe on or off and with the sound bar when it's oh, sorry when it's on when it's off you'll have those two speakers which I believe makes it back into 2.1 and then when it's on you have the top speakers on so this is the going to be an audio test with the DTS X off. And now I'm going to turn it back on. Um, my personal opinion sounds great tried using it for my computer uh, sounded great with some games um, 
not all of them. Games like Call of Duty, Resident Evil 3 sounded great. Apex Legends didn't sound so good. Um, maybe it's because it's formatted better that way. Um, I did also notice a hissing sound with the PC version. I mean, connected to my computer. And I believe that was due to another audio connector maybe interfering. I'm not sure. But so far I don't hear any hissing sounds when um, the soundbar is active with audio on the TV. So it's a great budget uh, soundbar. It only costs 150 US price. Uh, definitely recommend it if you're on a budget for under 200 This soundbar can get really loud and packs a nice boost punch. So that is my take on it.